Right, it's MCC30. It's a very nice number indeed. But yeah, let's just make the teams broken, I guess. This is Dude Shepo, and welcome back to Behind the Dome, the show where its host was speechless when Green Geckos is announced. Yeah, if that other event does it, why can't MCC? So yeah, this literally proves that anything can happen in MC Championship. You got crack teams, you got, you know, strong players. Who knows? Hey, at the time of recording this, I have not seen the last five yet. I have not seen Cyan yet. But at the time of releasing this, you, have, you will have seen all the teams already. But yeah, hopefully they are cracked as the first five. So... Yeah, so tonight we will be seeing all the teams for this event as well as the very last Mokban video and a look back at one of the teams in MCC Rising. But first, here are the teams that will be competing in MCC 30. Here are all the teams that will be competing in MC Championship 30. Red Rabbit, Sip Sapnap, Hanang Sex Rose, Captain Puffy and Captain Sparkles. After a long time, Hannah finally got a solid team with Sapnap and the captains together. With that in mind though, after an unfortunate event from the team alone, will they redeem themselves in the highly competitive event? Ignore, ignore, okay? I'm watching, don't worry, okay? I'm, I'm okay at doing this, okay? Alright, Sylvia, I know where the green ball is, okay? Guys, I didn't almost die. Shut up, shut up. Orange Oslots with SP737, Blushy, Snifferish, and HBOM94. SB is back after a very long time with the sense of time man himself. With adaptability and team games being their strengths, with the last event's Aqua Axolotls happen again. Cage. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Yes, I got first! Let's go! Nice! Yes, Kara second! Sneak third! Come on, Captain! Come on, Jordan! So <laughs> Come on! Yellow Yaks with Vigo Mio, Wolf this Cake, and Frost and Purple. A crack duo of Anfrost and Purple is here, and they really here to win the event. But with them being the top of almost every game ever, would they keep the high expectations up? Let's go! Lime Lama, Zip All Sam Dude, Cup Fan 135, Punks, and Filsa. A movement centric team with bits of PvP skills indeed with all prior chemistry combined into one solid team. But will Rocket Speed Rush be their game to dominate if it was to be in? What is that in What is bomb? that map? Oh! Excuse me? <laughs> I'm gonna block people. <laughs> oh, I did. Oh my, it's you before, you? Green Geckos with Jojo Solos, Pizza Hut, Michael McShill, and Carl Corvius. An impossible duo happened with Pete and Jojo together as well as with the likes of Kara and Michael McShill. If they have prior experiences in other events, would that lead them to victory? There's a lot of sugar. Good call. They're going up, they're going up. Got yeah. one. Thing is, oh, it's not. Is it? I'm, trying. Uh, I'm dead by the way. What do you mean? I hit one behind you, that's it. Is that me? Is that me? Is that me? Ah, I didn't hit one. Nice, nice. Is that everyone nice. dead? <laughs> right, before the last block, try and eat the carrot. Yeah, eat it. Get the carrot. Oh, yeah, I gotta eat my carrot. Eat your carrot for one point. So I eat the carrot. San Coyotes with Tommy in it, Ronbu, the Orion Sound, and CPK. A lovely duo of Ollie and CPK, as well as Tommy and Ronbu are here together in this event. With clear comms and strategies, will they win this competitive event? One close, count close. Oh, I'm dead. He healed himself. Hello? Kills, moving back, moving back, moving back. He's getting in. Uh, uh, stay back. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, nice. Uh, Pearl is full health. Pearl's full health. Push Barney, Barney, Barney. Barney. Pulse is, Pulse oh, yeah, Barney. is on 15. Okay, turning. Dead. Pulse is on 15. Let me ace, let me ace, let me ace. I don't actually want the ace. <laughs> 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 Pearl is on 15. Pearl's 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 on 15. The strong lass and two of the hermits are here, but with Fireball's tragic mind and skill set from Illumina, this team has a good chance to win the event. Would that be the case though? Oh, oh Phil missed it! He scuffed it! Win! 
Let's go! Woo! <laughs> yes, Fiverr! Holy shit. Blue bats with Crutchy, Foot Berries, Shovel, and Force Symmetry. A strong PP duo and a team centric chemistry from Force and Shovel. With that in mind, how would they do in a much more competitive scene that is MCC 30? Yeah. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! Let's go! I'm just gonna relax now. Dude, I'm crying, dude. Fuck! Let's go! Oh my god, dude! Are you serious, man? Let's fucking go! Purple Panda, Swift Solidarity, Martin in the Littlewood, Fire Breath Man, and Scott S. Major. A strong vibrant chemistry indeed with Fire Breath Man and Scott Duo in the making. But how will half the Lords do? And will they, the team, win it all? I'm oh, sorry. Go, 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 go! Oh, first person. We got this, we got this. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my. Oh, oh my nice. God. Nice. Oh, awesome. Are we still playing? The Apple of the Warden. What do you mean? We gotta Wait, get what? To the end. We gotta get Wait, to the end. oh, we gotta get oh, no! <gasps> what? Pink Paris with Tobo, AMC, Sylvie, and a new competitor, Shadow666. Our second Spanish focus streamer is here, and with his high raw skill set in the game, as well as everyone else's experiences in the event, will the team overcome the beginner diff and win this event? What's the Let's Wait, go! Fine. Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Wait. Yo! Wait, do we win? <laughs> we're versing the two best teams, I think, with the second no. to last team in us. Wait, what? <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. I think so. No! <laughs> <laughs> These are all the teams of MCC30. So yeah, Scott really cooked up some crack teams leading up to this event. And who have thought that the teams are getting boring? But people who, who thought like that, yeah, uh, they are wrong. So hey. So now comes the bit. So a couple of days ago, I was brainstorming my ideas when we come back for season 3 of MCC Lab Show. And then I was thinking, hmm, people have been talking about these events like on top of their heads. And there are some facts that some people may not be aware about and are known by like hardcore fans of MCC. So here's a solid 15 minutes of totally useful MCC fun facts. MCC stands for MC Championship. It is a very widely misconception that MCC stands for Minecraft Championship due to the popular subreddit being called that way and with literally all content creators calling it that way. I made a whole video about the reason why it's called like that. Please go watch if you are curious. The first ever game that was played in MC Championship was ironically Paco Warrior. Captain Sparkles wants it to be played at the end when that happened. No was from MCC once Aqua Horses survived. Out of that team, three of the four players were never to be seen in the tournament again. One of those players, Dietrich, was known by Rasta and then Matt Might, he rebranded so much that I was literally confused of what to call him on the MCC wiki. Ayas Cupquake was originally an organizer of the teams alongside Scott, but then withdrawn due to time constraints. Daisy the Caster still has the highest amount of unmultiplied coins in survival games up to this date, of 950 coins. To be able to achieve this, you will really have to kill around more than a quarter of court participants, getting that first place team bonus and getting those coin airdrops in more than days. That is really hard. Overtime music used to be played in Dodgeball. Well, in MCC1 at least. Other than that, it is just pure silence. Oh no, because what if like... <laughs> oh! oh! Purple, yes. come on purple. I mean, you can just pass it along to your teammates, come right? On, purple. Oh, it's what a oh, oh, they, they, they killed each other! They, oh, 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 oh! Oh my oh, god! That was so oh bad. my god! Oh, what's going on here? Oh, why did she just oh! Oh! Okay, guys. 
Okay, guys, you gotta tell <laughs> me if your music breaks, works. Yeah. Another quarter of players in NCC1 did not show off in any future events. This includes Cupquake, Jack Sucks at Life, Nerdy Place, Tang Matt, Ijevin, Wolf21, Dietrich or Matt Might, Jesse the Caster, James Key, and Scott Griswold or Mystery Salesman if you wanna call in MC in the event. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Vicky, for that. All right. The yellow yokes were actually a joke made to CPK. The replaced mascot, the yellow chickens, are still to this day popular in the MCC Discord. Battlebox is the first game to debut after Original 8. People were very confused on how this game works in the first run. The first ever team tie happened in this game and in this same event as well. A recurring decision on gag, the elevator joke, debuted in MCC2 and the only time that it was not broken was in MCC6 in which it is understandable since you know the ele elevator is switched up and plenty of new players do not know this. That joke was later revealed to be similar to MCC9's joke. The simmers were in Green Guardians for one time only, in MCC3. The first night out of 9 in Battle Box happened in MCC3 with the Blue Bats. The first perfect game was done by MCC13 Coral Carriers. Sapnap and Viz would later do this again in MCC19 and MCC P21, respectively. MCC3 saw the most amount of substitutions in the tournament. Like, why? The person who got killed by Tommy in Rocket Spleef and spun that iconic quote was Catherine Elizabeth, who later killed Tommy himself in MCC14 in Battlebox. In that same event, the coin skein sound effect was quite strange. Yeah. Dang. Got him. Okay. He's down. Fill in. Try to fill in when you can. Oh my god. Dirty, dirty, no. Dirty. Oh. no, no, no. Yes. Good. That was okay. clutch. That was so clutch. Got him. So there clutch. we go. So clutch. That was so oh clutch. Oh my god. So Dodgeball changed its name for the first time in MCC4 as Egg Boat. In Halloween events, they are changed to Witch Boat. In festive events, they are changed to Snowbolt. And a mega version for Pride events is called Megabolt. Audience Takeover was introduced in MCC4, and it really is a pure popularity contest of what game each player wants to play. Hence, it was called the Techno Takeover once, and then Scott Takeover. Audience Takeover would then be changed to Audience Blockout in MCC11, and then the, the Takeover format returned for the Jingle Jam Championship and then back to audience block up and to now. Technoblade still has the most unmultiplied individual coins up to this day with 4,307 coins. And speaking of numbers, let me run down some real quick. 25,346 is the amount of coins that the Green Guardians in MCC7 had and is the highest amount of team coins in that event. 4,221 unmultiplied coins were from Pete and 3,459 unmultiplied coins were from H-Bomb. All of the coin records, except for MCC19 Cellulean survival games, were from Season 1. Is this far enough? Come on. Come on. Phone. Let's go, let's go. The decision of music sounds very much the same as the Knox Crew Game Show theme song. And the decision of music was remixed and remastered several times. We got the MCC1 version, the Season 1 version, the MCC6 version, which is my favorite, the Halloween version, the festive version, and the reason. Right version. Up to this date, Bitso has not released his MCC6 highlights video. It's been three years. Three years! Dream and George debuted in this MCC, MCC6, 
One of the reasons and goals that Dream had was to get that bacon of Technoblade. He successfully did it, with team-wise and individual-wise. Paco Warrior was first beaten by Pizza Hut in MCC6, in contrary to some belief that Dream did it first. The Ace Race music was similar to one of the unreleased tags by Epic Landlord made from for a unleashed map of Super Sky Runner. Or Knoxwood Factory, I don't know really, I'm leaning towards Super Sky Runner, of course, thanks to that person who pointed out on the wiki. Fundy won Ace Race once. That's unexpected, isn't it? Honobo actually won the audience takeover in MCC7. That poll was, well, controversial at least. Orange Ocelots had a big brain move of making a shopping list in big sales at Build Mart. That was nerfed by the block randomization introduced in the following event. MCC8 Pink Parrots is a balanced team. Copium. Speaking of Pink Parrots, Dream's three wins in the tournament were in a pink team. Understandably, because he is usually the hypest of them all compared to like everyone else in the roster, yeah, freaking 20, 20 million Andy, yeah. And speaking of pink parrots again, MCC9 pink parrots are lords, really. Green is a lord green dream slayer, Joel is a lord Joel Jumperman, Jimmy is lord Timmy top placer, and Martin is lord Mon Martin money maker, that's the word fool, yeah. The team for the event, MCC9, were announced only within a day. The order were decided by the MCC Discord. Blue Bats made the first ever reverse sweep in the tournament, all of whom were players who did not expect to win the event at all. But thanks to Survivor Games in that event, it was something else. Two other teams in MCC10 were viewer teams. Purple with Oriya, Yi Daisy, Contest and Webkit. Pink with IIC Bunny, Rogusky, Pearlbites and Asnesnum. Only one of the 8 walls are still available up to this date in a high quality version of 360p. Pokimane did not have the tournament's resource back. Like really in MCC10, really yeah. I mean, have you been playing with the server textures? Because I've just re you've, there's a couple. No, things but I didn't want to talk about it. Yeah. Wait, you haven't been the using fuck? the textures? What the hell? Yeah, I realized like earlier, and I was like, I'm just not gonna say anything because oh, well, you literally I, can't I, play without the textures. You are throwing for us. And please, don't watch MCC10 Red Rabbit's Dosal Perspectives. I beg you. Okay, so I'm gonna run the vault. And I'm gonna read some MCC fun facts, I'd say. Got a new update, trying to find some chests. So if you don't know War Hunters, War Hunters are GG. It's a fun mod pack I've been playing for a while. So yeah, it's just, I'm exploring the new update at the moment. So hey, I'm gonna read some fun facts while I do. Also, let me get, let me get a music going that you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Right. That's way too loud, okay. There you go. Sands of time. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's people say that this is sense of time, but uh, it's not really. So in MCC 11, Pete was supposed to be in MCC 11 Green Guardians, but then, as you already know, his electricity went out, and thus we have a t for fun team of green. It's not Green Guardians. It's green goblins. Yeah, green goblins. So that team is a for fun team automatically with no peed. So that's quite very interesting. Mm, got you. MCC11 Fulshare Frankenstein's, I'll say, is another very very balanced team. That that's totally a copium. Yeah. This same team again, Fulshare Frankenstein, is relatively the first team to do a 3-0 sweep in the tournament. And although. The first actual sweep is done by MCC2, but that was a 2-0 sweep, so yeah, that doesn't count for some people, so yeah. Go 
little bit to here. We don't know nobody. The the the, the very amazing quote by Quackity is a quote from MCC 11's Violet Vampires. And it's really the only one of the two quotes that is on the MCC wiki, somehow. MCC 11 Lime Licious, by the way, has a relatively sim relatively like similar face. Look at it closely. It's it looks like B double. Like really, yeah, their skin is B double one red. Well their their faces of course and then also their lime outfit, so that's Hawk. The first anniversary event. That event is the one that makes Nikki want to play more in the tournament. Really, really want to play more because you know, one thing. Nikki, can we get one more brother for good luck? Brothers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now, in the present time, she's only doing canon events, non-canon to be exact. Yeah. I'd love, love to have her in the non-canon events somehow, I would say so. Tapos Monitor in MCC 12 got bye-bye after Dodgebot in MCC 12. Tapos team as well is the only team that is consistently in first place for the game 2 onwards. Game 1 they are not in, but game 2 onwards, yeah, yeah, they, they, they are, they are they're really dominant. How many do I have? Trap Disarm. Good at affinity. It's 35 size, that's grand. Right, that's that's my fun facts, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna continue watching now. Gosper is totally not a Republican. No. Wait. In the back. <laughs> yeah, it says Trump. Oh, oh it's yeah, Trump. Trump. <laughs> what the hell, oh, Wilbur? It's Grump. Oh, Wilbur, why do you, why are you wearing a, a oh, MAGA sweater? If if, oh, if, if, if one of your if one of your arms covers it, it says Trump. Yeah, yeah. So look, oh my god, look, oh my look, god. It's, it's, we got a fu we got a Trump. fucking Republican <laughs> in this Fine, MCC. Man, that's crazy. Right. Speaking of that sweater, Tommy got a Steve Ghost Sheet skin earlier in MCC 11. This would happen again in MCC 26. And Tommy himself is the only person who received punishments from not wearing any theme skins in Halloween and festive events. I mean, somebody had to stand out. At the end of the day, the super crash that happened in MCC 13 was due to a string limit of the Mega Chicken Tree. It was called Light Blue instead of Aqua for some reason. And finally, Illumina only wins in reverse sweeps. That really is all the fun facts, and yeah, thumbs up by the way. God, that you really need to know. Thanks to MCC Vicky for like majority of these facts, and yes. I know, the majority of these are from Season 1. Yeah. And you want more? <laughs> this is the last Mock Month video for you all. And really, it's been really fun to make those type of videos. But some videos are just like, like for example, that MCT Island funny moments. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Top 5s? Yeah, that's too lazy in my liking, but I'll only do that in mock months anyway. Hey, maybe next year, perhaps, when I what, where I will be busy finding jobs and wrapping up projects. Yeah, mock month during that day, that time. So yeah, alrighty then. So it's time now for a look back at one of the MCC Rising teams. And I have mentioned this earlier, that the vote, the three other teams that are not voted in, in the last poll for MCC Rising will be chosen the team from that tree will be chosen by randomization because you know like Paul, me, Paul, me you get what I mean um, I lied actually I didn't choose this team by randomization I just choose it because I want to <laughs> and I really want to do this team a lot so now this team is a team that really emphasize more in small content creators a lot in this event and with them being busy themselves, you know, they're not that prominent in the Minecraft space with well, with some other couple of people. But yeah, they managed to get together and of course enjoy the event that is MCC Rising, despite the hassle that is that. So here's MCC Rising Red Rabbits. Excuse me. Hmm? Down here. 
Hi there. We heard MCC was looking for small content creators. We didn't mean literally. Uh, you, you get the joke, right? Them being small content creators, signing up for MCC Rising. Yep, it's them. This is Red Rabbits, a group of friends together to have a fun time in the good old tournament that is MC Championship. The team is full of good vibes and chemistry throughout with them having established themselves as a corner in one of the biggest gaming community in the world. But around a year and a half later, where are they now? But first, here is some background. This team consists of Mayoras, King of Archers, Yoshinom, and Nika Cola. A group of friends together and often collaborate together as well. King of Archers is known as a Nintendo DS shelf game reviewer in the past who totally didn't get held hostage in one of the reviews. Just from the first story alone, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is the pinnacle of modern gaming, and I think everyone should experience this masterpiece firsthand just to really understand what gaming should be. Before MCC Rising, she became intrigued in Minecraft, and often collabed with Nika Cola in various variety Minecraft videos and streams. Nika Cola is also in the same field as well, with her variety Minecraft streams in similar sense to King of Archers. Yoshino is also a variety content creator himself, especially in Zelda games back in the days. And finally, Mayoras. Okay, uh, let me get this straight, right? Mayoras did not have anything on their profile either, doing those team introductions, days for this team. But hey, they do be cool, I would say. Out of the team's announcements, the teams assemble together and of course do that thing that is practicing for the event. But one content creator stood out from the rest. Okay, I got this. You got this. Oh, yes. ah, no, 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 why? You did it. No. <laughs> I did it, but at what cost? No! <laughs> this man spent hours trying to beat the Paco Warrior course, which could be deemed as one of the hardest Paco course in Minecraft. I do not know if he beat it or not, but man, the, the dedication he has is phenomenal. Due to a lot of obligations, however, they, the team, did not get too much of a practicing, which leads to the main event. In MCC Rising, this team did not have too much of a dominant performance in their name. But really though, hey, dunking friends are one of them. Mako? Mako. For, without a doubt. Because they did a thing. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you could- King was the player who really helped shape the team in terms of strategies and how they approached this game. As she is really inspired by the likes of Technoblade's time in the tournament. And yeah, she did well with her ace race, being a very decent one. The rest had a lovely good time and made some good old friends, which later became prominent collaborators at the end. After the event, there were many events that they participated as well as collabs falling off. King, Josh, and Nico were in the good old sheep game event created by mcc 10s Oriya and her friend Norwester, and it was a good one. Oh, I found the so photo booth! Okay, are we ah, I got a photo of me! You should go for the square. But the group would later collaborate more in the next months as well, and eventually landed themselves in Champions Crashing SMP, with MCC Rising content creators and many more. Going back a bit as well, Yosh started collab with Mako Inari, from their Vault Hunter stream to many more, as well as appearing in the 24 Hours SMP alongside Nico as well. King was also back to her good old hardcore days, as well as more variety content from her than ever. And same goes with Nico, with the SMPs and many more shenanigans. Nico and King would also continue to collab more with each other, appearing in each other's streams and plenty more. Josh would then start to become more prominent in the Minecraft space from being in the Earthbound SMP to his consistent hardcore streams and many more variety streams in there, 
and he is still doing this now up to this day. Nico would also continue streaming as well and eventually landed herself in a recognized VTuber that you still see today. These two would also become more prominent in the streaming space and the content creation space, with Nico and Yosh being more prominent in Gomo's 100 day challenges and many more. Nico is also continue streaming her Minecraft variety content, and Yoshino is currently focused on variety content, apart from his Zelda days like Resident Evil 4, etc. etc. But what about King and Miras? Well, first, Miras did not make any content after their time in MCC Rising, and is pretty much busy at this moment in time. Same goes with King who was MIA in terms of streaming. But months later, she's back, better than ever before, with her brand new YouTube series of The Vote According to King, a single player series mixed in with some roleplay in there. And of course, as with any of her content, she got a big friend. Unacceptable! <laughs> Hello? Who? What are you? Look at you, you're just like a little pig. At the end of the day, this team is all about wives and enjoying themselves in a competitive scene that is MCC, despite their heavy workload and more. This team really is one of the good chemistry teams and there, and hey, I really can't wait for more of them in the future. This is a story of MCC Rising's Red Rabbits. That's MCC Rising Red Rabbits for your lads out there. I truly miss them a lot, and especially with King's new YouTube series. I now have something to watch as well. I hope that everything goes well for them all. Seriously, Yoshino with other things, Nikakola and Mayoras, who has not great content, but hopefully I wish him all the best. Alright then, so. Do you remember that thing that I usually do in Beyond the Dome? Uh, well, it's back. Really, it, it's back. It's voting time, and this time you are deciding the next player profile in the next, next Beyond the Dome. Here are the details. It's time for you to decide who would you like to see in the next player profile. Either Gemini Tay. No, if I'm gonna make this. You make it, you make it, you make it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you've got it. You make it, you make it, you make it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you got it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you got it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you got it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you got it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you got it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you got it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you got it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you got it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you got it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you got it. Just run, just run, you've got it, you got it. Just run, just run, you've we're in fifth now. Green. We're trying. Oh! No, 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 no. Oh, oh. I just fell. Oh, we're fine. Oh, no, I got hit off. Okay. Oh, that was. And then realized <laughs> what did I do? Green, you got a load of. You, must have, you dropped a TNT, apparently. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Green! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> or, good times with Scar. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> To what go to the community tab on the MCC Live Show YouTube page or the link in the description. Warning closes on April 16th at 8 pm BST, in which the poll will be removed and the results will be posted after. The chosen player will be featured in the next player profile in episode 40 of Behind the Dome. Make your decision wisely. It's not a hermit this time around, and oh boy, are they fun to have in this tournament indeed. The players chosen will be featured in episode 40 of Behind the Dome after MCC 30. So that means, as we typical with last year, um, there's not going to be any Behind the Dome episode next week. I am busy on team introductions as was wrapping up projects. So that that's 
that's the thing, and also that's the reason why last week was also cancelled. So yeah, but you will still get your bi-weekly dose of evolution, of course, next week. So you still get some new content on there. But until then, though, I'll see you live with the live analysis and everything in two weeks from now. That's Friday, the 28th of April at 8 p.m. PST. And also, as I told various times and it's typical already, um, team production start this Monday and it's gonna be calmer than, you know, last couple of times, last two events where it's like stacked on top. This time was, the time's gonna be a casual one day, possibly, who knows. Until then though, thank you so much for watching. Keep on watching the usual. I'll see you live next two weeks. Okay, see you guys. Bye bye.